There he is. I mean, who who's playing it back? Yeah, someone needs to cut off their reverb here. Big Robes. There yeah, it is. Welcome to the show. You. Okay. What's up? What's up, fellas? This hey. is the squad I've been waiting What's for. Up, Roby, first of all, why were you late? Huh? Why were you late? Okay, well, Max gave the password and it was all off. And I was supposed to be on at two, not at one fifty six. So actually true. I'm five minutes early. Okay, you know what? That is true. We did uh we did uh speed through it a little bit, so I'll, we'll let we'll let it slide on that oh, one. Oh, you get, you you guys sped up because you wanted to talk to Big Robes, huh? Yeah, we did. Big Robes is here. We're excited to talk to Big Robes. Hi, Big Robes. Terrorists. Roby, it kind of just, I don't know, it could be the angle of the camera. It looks like your hairline's getting a little farther back. Hey, chill, chill out, Simon. <laughs> I Relax think you look great, Big Robes. <laughs> hey, talk to us. <laughs> how is free agency going? How, how, like, how is it going right now? <laughs> you look like one of the characters off of Recess. <laughs> Yeah, and the thing is, I was about to go upstairs and put on a cowboy hat just to start the show off. No, oh, no, nah, no, nah, we don't there need that. The, That's uh, hopeless. Yeah, <laughs> uh, free agency, man. Um, How's it's it good to be honest. It's it's different. It's uh, I mean, but you guys know, being European athletes, you will be end up not every day is free agency when you're not after the season, right? You know that the minute you the minute the season's over, whether you make it to the playoffs, whatever, you're a free agent. I think now with social media and the ELF and stuff like that, when they post all that stuff, people kind of get, oh, no, this is like it's a real free agency. No, this is just everyday European football. Right. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, but it's been good, man. It's I've and I do it every year. Um, People don't know, but I do it every year, even when I was with the unicorns. I always reach out. Yeah, <laughs> you do do it every year. You're always getting recruited. Yeah, I do it. I do it every year. And um, I've had coaches and even in the past, like, what are you doing? Why are like, why, why are you not doing this? Sign up back already. Because um, <laughs> yeah. you just you never know. And also, you got to do you do your due diligence. Right. You mm-hmm. cannot you cannot wait for a team kind of like in a situation now. I can't wait on Ryan Fire to kind of kind of pull the trigger and what they want to do. Cause then all these other teams are signing guys every day, right? That's true. So, yeah, yeah. So just you saw. can't wait. So have yeah, you we, not talked to Ryan Fire about signing? Like they, they haven't they haven't said for sure that they want to sign you. Yeah, that's that's what it is. They haven't said for sure whether they want to sign me back or not. Uh, kind of, it's kind of. I mean, it's business at the end of the day. You feel me? Right. So it's not uh, it's not anything that's not anything that's too uh, kind of getting at me a little bit. It did for a second because I'm like, oh, all the. First signee, the first thing I ever did there is with Ryan Fire, and we got to the championship, and that's what I told him. I said, I'm going to come here, help build with the organization, and get you guys a championship. And we did that, and now it's just kind of like, uh, it is what it is, man. But it's business. Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you know the the lay of the land of European football. And, like, I mean, I don't know. Does part of you feel like, hey, did I not do enough to get, like, pull the trigger on right away again? Because, obviously, especially you coming back in the championship game, after kind of facing a weird situation where you had to sit on the sideline, they bring in a new import, you're healthy, you're good to go, and then you had to wait, wait uh, to get back on the field, and then you proved yourself, like, didn't miss a beat, had two touchdowns uh, in the championship game. Does that feel a little like, hey, man, why am I not getting this this offer right now? I mean, yeah, and from from my – from if I have my faith from my human perspective, for sure – that that's something where like like any human you you say man I've done all this and this is what I've done, um what what did not that guy say Earl Thomas hey coach it's documented, so you know <laughs> it's documented you you know what you're gonna get you 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 don't have to ask me, um directly about who I am and what I've done you you can ask you guys you can ask everybody in Europe with all that yeah so it doesn't uh it it can't eat at you if you let it uh for me I, I've been a big proponent of just let things come as they may because because i know things can can flip turn upside down real fast but i mean as far as that that situation yeah in the beginning it was tough but i understood i was i was injured so i couldn't do anything anyway right. um so i ended up coming back in august actually and you know how uh, elf is set up when you have um what is practice squad guys and so what i had done was i started trying to jump in with them but they were Come on, Roby. Just and I said, you know what? I'll just take a break. I'm not playing because Willie's doing a great job. I'm not playing. I'm not going to take these guys reps who are here every single week but not dressing or playing. So I let them have it. 
and basically um, I did indie and then just kind of cheered everybody on and, and did my due diligence with uh, my great physio, Nicole, who's now um, with the Hamburg Sea Devils, which is pretty cool. Um, and then, yeah, I came off the couch basically after the semifinal game and, you know, big ropes doing big ropes things. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, big ropes. <laughs> uh, I mean, how much longer do you even want to play? Till the wheels fall off, man, and people can say what they want. Um, you can't play this game after it's done. You, right. I mean, you, you guys have an understanding of it. Once you take the pads off, and my favorite thing to tell people is you cannot ever replicate running out of the tunnel. Running out of the tunnel, that yeah. feeling, that rush you get from when you just, you hear your team's name or your name get called out and you run out, and you can't replicate that. Yeah. That's why I'm trying to get a one-game sign, uh, one-game contract <laughs> with the Ryan Fire. For real. There you go. Like, I'm well, trying to got go. an A spot open right now. Yeah, I'm the trying guy to, to hey, shoot, man. I, I can put in a couple good words for you if you need oh, to. Oh, man. Just whatever. <laughs> you you can resign and then, like, twist your ankle for a game, and then I'll sign for one game, replicate that feeling, and then leave. There you He's go. Like, hey, shoot. Because you're rope. right, bro. You are right. That feeling right there is – is ah, that's yeah. the best it, feeling and, in the world. And it, it doesn't matter if it's in – um, if it's in like I played at Gillette before when I was in high school, so it doesn't matter if you're at Gillette Stadium or you're in well, Kirkdorf is a little different, but, but like <laughs> <laughs> Kirk so it does matter. So it matters Kirk a, little a little bit, a little bit. Uh, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> hey, we had some good games down there, big bro. We had some yeah, good games the, down at Kirkdorf. With the uh, what was it? The, the the crop duster planes flying overhead. Yeah, yeah that was so funny. <laughs> He said Kirkdorf. How long have you lived in Germany, bro? <laughs> Kirkdorf. <laughs> bro, you've been in Germany since like 2015. You can't say Kirkdorf. Is that how you say it? Kirchdorf. Like, Kirchdorf. Oh, I'm not I'm not Bavarian, man. No, you know, it's not it's the C H the that Germans do. You've been there for 14 years and you still can't say <laughs> if I'm anything in Germany or Europe, I'm baden Wuttenberg to the max. There you go. That's that's our spot, Big Robes. That's you spent a lot of time. Is, hey, what uh, what? I know we talked about the Ryan Fire a little bit. What Any other ELF teams are you are you intrigued by? I don't. You don't have to say like, you know. No, so, yeah, I'm, yeah. Obviously, I'm not going to do that just just for business standpoint of things. But, yeah. Um, I'm really and I'm really kind of intrigued by the, the the newer the newer teams. Uh, obviously, you you get the big ones, but it's cool to see the growth of the game. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, and even even to this day, I've had conversations with damn near every every single one of them. Yeah. Uh, I, I think if I had put out that little free agency thing a little earlier, I probably would have um, talked to talked again to some of the, you know, the Frankfurts, the Hamburgs, the, the things like that. But I mean, I'm, I'm really intrigued by a lot of the 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 ones that are starting up um even the, even the gfl i mean just because that's what we played in right and that's been there for so long so just just to kind of take a step back and look at european football in the mind frame of a wide landscape instead of just kind of elf 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 even though this mm -hmm. is the elf podcast uh show i mean cause that's, that's what i'm here for i think at the end of the day is to keep playing this game till i can't um help out an organization like i have prior um, and and then change change the people and change the community around uh, wherever that's planted at in football. Yeah, that's a that's a great perspective to have on it, man. I mean, you've gotten to do so much, like play in so many different situations, different teams, different leagues. You've got to have the big experience. Mm -hmm. like, you've been all over. Um, I mean, you know, going up to Finland as well, having that playing ELF G GFL, and mm -hmm. so you've really had the the full experience, man. So do you feel like do you feel like you have anything left to prove on the field, or do you feel like you've done it? Me? Yeah, you. You're the one getting interviewed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Who, me? Is there somebody else that we're <laughs> the, the uh? <laughs> <Is> it... <laughs> well, I mean, well, see, well, <laughs> I. <laughs> <laughs> that well that i mean did that answer your question <laughs> it, that did answer my question that like, did it, answer my question it, let me translate that for everybody <laughs> robes was was shocked at the audacity that i had to even ask if he's felt like he's proved himself on the field he was shocked <laughs> that i even asked that question so we know you feel like well i know he wasn't talking to me bro 
<laughs> me, man, me, I, I, I yeah, that's what I'm saying. Hey, it's documented. It's documented. <laughs> It's documented. Nah, I'll, you know what? I'll answer the question for you, Rogue. Don't don't even don't even answer. I got you. This man has won championships at the highest level every year. Every time every time the level changes, he's won it. He scored about eight thousand touchdowns, and he speaks three German words. <laughs> Hello, guten Tag, tschüss. There you go, man, Rogue, and banana Weizen. Remember in Schwab Shaw when you kept ordering those all the time? Yeah, I I changed it now to um what was it? Uh it's it's really sweet. You know, I like sweet stuff. It's uh damn Disarono and Sprite. Amaretto and Sprite. The city changed you. You live in the big city now. Eh, I'm still I'm still a, I'm still a country bumpkin sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are big Robes. Robes, hey. what do you what do you have to have to leave us with what do you have to say to the the people about kind of the status of european football you've you've seen it you've been out here for years you've seen the landscape change what, what are your words on the league and the sport in general in europe i love it i absolutely love the way that it's going um i hope that things don't get overrun by i hope the purity of the game stays that way i i, yeah. I hope that people don't come in and kind of ruin it for their own personal gain that's yeah. uh, that, that's one big thing I don't like, and I know that uh, it's it's definitely a, a far cry from where it could be, where it should be. But I mean, I, I love the trajectory that it's on. Look at these words, man. <laughs> <laughs> what you said the word trajectory? <laughs> <laughs> Write that down, chat. I love, I love, We've got proof. I love <laughs> how you're over there commentating on yourself, like you're watching. <laughs> you can't. You're like Donald you Trump, man. <laughs> You're like Donald Trump. There you go, Big Robes. You, Robes man. Never stay on script. Thanks for coming on the show, Big Robes. It's always great to see you. You know, you've done it all uh, in Europe. One of the best to ever do it. And yeah. uh, even you look yeah. at the, the film from that championship game this year. You, you haven't lost a step, which is shocking because you're old like me. But yeah. uh, you still got it. You know what You know what that is? It's cold water to the face and limited stress from these females. Hey. <laughs> Hey. That's good wisdom to leave everybody with. Big robes. <laughs> Nathaniel Robitaille, thanks for coming on the show, brother. Now go watch Shrek. Oh, man. I know that's what you're about yeah, to do. yeah, I miss it, man. Hey, love you guys. Thank you. God bless everybody. Yeah, Hope you guys love have you a big great 2024. Yeah, bro. Take love you, bro. Take it easy, man. Thanks for coming. Yeah.